Tonight's State of the Nation, in less than three hours, President Trump will deliver his second State of the Union address, coming off of a government shutdown and with the possibility of another looming. The White House says tonight's speech will focus on unity. Fox 16's Mark Meredith joining us live from Washington. Mark, I know you had the opportunity to sit down with the president today to kind of get a preview, or at least as much as you could, of tonight's address. What do you have to say? Hey there, Kevin. Though The White House is trying to keep some of the details of the speech under wraps, but we know that the president is going to look back at what the White House has been working on these last two years, whether it be criminal justice reform, the opioid epidemic. The president will also be calling on lawmakers to work with him between now and the presidential election on a few other projects. We also know that the theme of tonight's speech is going to be choosing greatness. President Trump's second State of the Union comes at a critical time for his administration. Congress is split between parties. A second government shutdown may be days away, and the president is up for re-election next year. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. Look, I don't think that the president's message is going to be different than the one uh, he's been talking about since he started campaigning. This is a president uh, who is a visionary. He's a president who likes to get things done. The White House says the theme of tonight's speech is choosing greatness and will focus on health care, eradicating AIDS and lowering prescription drug costs, infrastructure, and of course, immigration reform. White House aides say the speech will also encourage lawmakers to change the tone in Washington. He's calling for bipartisanship and unity and more compromise and cooperation and less divisiveness. But Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says President Trump is responsible for the bitter environment engulfing Washington. The state of our union is in need of drastic repair. Democratic leaders have chosen former Georgia gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams to deliver the party's response the to the president's address. And the distinct honor of we know the speech is going to last about an hour. The president also inviting guests from all over the country, people that have been impacted by some of the president's policies and people that would also like to uh, see some more action happen with the president and Capitol Hill. Different themes of the president will also be touching on, including after we mentioned immigration reform. It'll be interesting to see whether or not the president makes any major announcements on this. This is something the White House has been teasing for the last couple of days, but it's still not clear whether or not that'll happen tonight or if few days down the road. Kevin? Yeah, Mark, it's going to be an interesting evening to hear what the president has to say as well as a democratic response. Thanks for the report. Always good talking to you.